recording, restart timer, and the chair. Hmm. That back over there. Howdy, and welcome back to Disco Elysium with Wicked Storm Gaming. Um, we can go in the kitchen now all of a sudden. Who are you? I need to talk to you about a key. That's what we came in here for. Ooh. This is our drawing. They smell of chemicals and pine trees. Cool. This guy is smoking. A thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This must be the Whirling's cook. As you step in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Garanzi and Quebec. It must be his name. Garanzi. Garanzi Quebec. Sounds representative. I'm gonna sound like an idiot no matter which one of these I pick, aren't I? Uh, Mr. Kubek puts his cup down and replies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. Stay masculine. <laughs> he smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. Well, he's proud of his pots, at least. I guess. Steal his tip money. Um... I don't know when the fucking kitchen will be open. a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. Okay. You immediately feel drawn to the color. Blue is for mystery. Blue is for mystery. I'll be back. Mark my words. <laughs> the cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. The door does not budge. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? I'm drawn to the door. It's part of the world of blue. Something about this place that makes me want to know. Out of duty, we may find something pertinent to the investigation. You're right. It's not important. Eccentric. But okay. I suppose we could look into it. As a side investigation. You know, for such a straight guy, he's, he sure is willing to go along with me on these random he's side tangents. He's your eccentricity. He seems genuinely intrigued himself. He's such a fun little just buddy to have along on an adventure, isn't he? <laughs> Mini side investigation? No, the door is a mega investigation. The door is the main investigator will merge to a stereo investigation. If you say so, <laughs> Gart is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. Yeah, that asshole, I know. The door. Ooh, the spooky, spooky door. Anyway, let's talk to him real quick. I said, quick. Can I help you? Mine? No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. That's what I meant. Thank you for clearing In general. Up. Why do you keep the container locked? Because there's little bashes out there still your trash. To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors too. They put their trash there and they don't pay for the garbage company. I thought as much. Mm, fair. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. No, it doesn't. Nothing stirs in me and it isn't callous. It's common sense. I mean, honestly, yeah, but... Prod at him and find out. What if I told you I am a <laughs> Or soon to be one. Rummaging through that trash will keep me out. You keep me out, too? You see callous to you guarding even your leftovers from the poor? Yes. <laughs> oh. But I need those leftovers to survive. <laughs> yes. I'm not a fishing teacher. That is not why we keep our trash. What the on. hell? Any place where the kitchen does it. It's not political, I assure you. Mmm. Callous? What mm. are you? Kras Mazov? Almost all establishments in Revishol keep their trash locked. The whirling in rags is not special in that regard. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Just bring them back once you're done, please. All right. How do you drink? Uh... Another thing. Great. I love those. Oh, yes, <laughs> that door. Sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. It's just the frick warehouse, probably. 
This has been bugging him for years, hasn't it? Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. He runs a finger across the counter to check for dirt. No, I love old junk. He's I also love that I'm shining this flashlight directly in his eyeballs. It's absolutely not convincing. It's not convincing. Think you'd like to know what's back there? Fine, okay, a little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So, I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though. After the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. Hmm. Okay, what if I... Yes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you drink? Wait, what? Yes. But what about the bird? The bird? Yes, the bird. I found it lying on the floor with a broken wing the morning she left. Yeah, it was me. I got in a fight with the bird. I remember that. You broke the skewer. I broke the bird! I assure you, it was him. God damn it. <laughs> Even comes back in the It's as if he can't decide whether to be angry or relieved that it was you. Again. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have told him that. He's going to charge me for the bird. Why on earth did you have to break the skewer? Just break things. I can't it. believe it. I was so sure it was Sylvie. Even worse, I thought she was trying to send me a message. A symbol of hope and all. That bird ain't no symbol of hope. It's a menace and a traitor. <laughs> it's a menace and a traitor. Right. Did she say anything else? About me, you know? Did, did she say anything about me? She said it, was like, it was just bad. No shit, it was bad time. There was a murder out back and you asked her on a date? The fuck, dude? I can't believe that wasn't just, like, a deal-breaker right there. That's insane that, like, like, she still, like, thinks of you positively after that. That's crazy to me. She said you're nice, but also her employer. I mean, come on, the power of vertical there. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I, should, I should give her a call, then. Wait till the corpse is gone, at least. Do you have a ladder, actually? Thanks, I guess. Was there anything else you wanted, or...? Ooh, I leveled up. Or can you give him a moment? Somehow you realize this is not going to net you any professional discounts. Already he's reverting back to defensive. Hmm. Damn. Uh, I don't want to really fall into this guy's, like, drunken antics or dependency if I can help it. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Maybe she's here. The door is closed. This door can only be opened with a key or from the inn. Is there anything we can... I want to sleep. Can I sleep? Kim also tries not to look at the pile of tape viscera on the carpet. Or the weird suitcase on the hat rack. Or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. I did it my way. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> and by that, you mean crimes against humanity? Well, crimes against myself, at least. I defied bourgeoisie morality in here. Defied it hard. Especially of me. My individual. No, I meant disco. Never mind. I have no idea what that means. Me neither. <laughs> Look. The bed is cold and not particularly inviting. But it's yours. Oh. The sheets look awful. When do I when do I sleep? I don't know. But I could really use it. I'm about dead. I don't want to waste my things. Wait. This fan has or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend. Sam wants to reattach itself to your neck. Savior of Flair, you say. What the fuck is that? I have zero in it. No wonder I bought. I had a fucking heart attack. Bonus from items, negative two. Can I just take off items and get that? What do you do? Drama. Take off my... Let's see if that makes a difference. This fan has... Or has it been consigned there? As mm. punishment, you feel as okay. I do have to level up. Yeah, I want my tie, damn it. 
Yeah. This Give me my tie. Has it been consigned there? Yeah, I took off my pants, so it's not. I'm not getting a negative. This creature is your friend. Actually, hold on. Was the pants the only thing? Here the shoes. Yeah, that's that's doing it too. Take those off as well. All right, we're not wearing pants or this shoes anymore. Has, or has it been? Consigned? Yeah. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning. Warning. The necktie is no longer contained. It's no longer contained, dear what God. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie. Ooh. With four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. That's mildly concerning. Hey, uh, Kim, I took my pants off. Uh, did I put the tie on? Plus Inland Empire. Cool. So these lose me a lot of shit. I need new pants and shoes. Something that doesn't give me, you know, negatives. The fan stands still. The switch must be broken because nothing happens. Mm. The, the lights. The lights are off. Okay, well, like, we can't sleep, so we might as well... Get the fuck out of here, I guess. I can't talk to her anymore. I hear something. Let's go. I didn't mean to do that. I mean to click that. Trying to get quickly over here. I want to go get that trash can while I'm thinking about it. We gotta make sure to lock it up again because I guarantee cool, cool or where the fuck his name is. This dumb motherfucker is going to just tear it out. This trash it. container is locked. Mm. The sliding lid has a padlock that says whirling in rags. With a well-oiled crack, the lock pops open. Ooh. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. What do you mean? Maybe you shouldn't. Of course you should. This is your time to shine, Hobo Cop. Dive into that dumpster for extra content. I do love content. Premonition that there's something in there? There is. But you won't like it. Uh-uh. Sweat forms on your brow. Your hand is still on the lid. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You, you got see to experience. cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Okay, and? We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Nice. Dick and hobo stuff, right? Well, let's do the other you stuff first. Milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Mm. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. Hobo cop. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Ooh. Nothing of note, however. Turbo noodles? Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. I was just saying I needed new pants. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. Ah, uh, those are from him. The victim's clothes? Yep. Cadaverino door is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Drop them in here, officer. This is a black paste of big mark evidence. Yes, Guitar good. Guitar mark, blue jeans. Pockets, empty or empty. He wore them with a belt, too, a white belt. The loops appear stretched, but the belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. I will Something find Something slimy catches your eye. Reach for a it! A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from the food waste. Drink this the is a military-type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. Just garbage. Give me a minute. All right. We should go to I'm about to go full home and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. We already did that. It went poorly. The fuck's he on about? Kids? You hear that, Kuno? He thinks you're an infant or something. Absolute fucking infant. See? Child, little infant child. Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lead was locked, and his establishment had the key. 
It's just a small loose thread. That sounds like a pretty big thread. What with the thing being locked and all, and you can't get in there without doing anything. The lieutenant nods, then looks back into the. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills mostly, unidentified sludge, and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, hey, nothing. Hmm. It's nothing. Nothing more to see here. What's this? Elbows out, there's nothing more here. A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. Ooh, grab Something it. Something larger. Ooh, grab a it. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you can still make man's out forms and notes quote written in a man's handwriting. Yes. Officer, is that your paperwork? I don't know what it this is. is. Look. The plastic oh. has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form in there. Yeah. If you don't mind my asking, how could you have let your paperwork end up in the trash? Must have been cramping my style. <laughs> it has a foreboding quality to it. Maybe I needed to lose it for the great bloodletting. What the fuck? Bloodletting? <laughs> I think I didn't want to be a cop anymore. That's why I tried to flush my cop life down the toilet. I'd rather not tell you. I think the bloodletting. What are you talking about? I have no fucking idea. I speak the Do tongue. Do though, also thorough inventories. You should take stock of your notes. Make sure it's all there. Official notes contain informants' names. If some of it has fallen into the hands of the RCM's adversaries, bloodletting may well ensue. Uh-oh. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see. Or are we finished? Some items, such as the ledger you found, are interactable. Go to your inventory and select the Interact tab to read your paperwork. No, we're going Hobogop. Wow, an armistice caliber 50 knock cannon. Half wrapped in paper tissues. So shiny. What? Where? Never mind. Oh. Look at that fat string of archipelagon pearls snaking amidst the banana peels. I'd rather have the cannon. And is that Cordon Electric's preamp with Electra F2 tubes? It is. That catches quite a price. We're talking 12,000. Easy. Unless you're into hi-fi yourself. I'm into hi-fi. I don't know what it is. Because none of those things are actually in there. Oh. There's just food waste and crisp wrappings. There must be something. All you see is a broken mug with a racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. Only in its social sensibility. Mm hmm The container sounds a muffled gong. I have a, I have a mug. Cool. Can we lock it That's back up? That's one thing off the list. I think we got it all. Can we lock it back up? The trash container stands. We can't lock it back up. Okay. Uh, who put clothes in the trash? Read your ledger. That's that's good good things. Hmm. Interact. Mug. It's just a racist mug. Mm. What's there to read here? Not much. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, what no. are you going to say about a broken, tossed away mug that you dug out of the garbage? For example, I'm afraid I was going to use it as. I could, I could just chuck it at Kuno's head. Uh, I'm going to push this into the face of every merchant and tell. Is this your innate ideology? It will be useful by denouncing it. I can earn political capital to mask my badass hustling, i.e., fraud and embezzlement. This mug didn't belong in the trash. It was just a funny mug. Didn't even have any more. Uh, fraud. I do need money. By denouncing it, I can earn political capital to make my badass hustling. There's no way I can actually do that. If you want to earn some change by guilting people, go for it. But if you want to earn real dough, finish the case and start getting paid again. But he said we don't get paid very well. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board, barely held together by a metal clip. I think there was a banana this peel on it too. is made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. Urinal? It's urinal. Urinal. Mm. Anything There's else? There's a piece of toilet paper. Or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper. Desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. I might should clean this. It's a metaphor. For you. Well, that's rude. Below the pathetic. Well, that's just rude. Terror. 
do not look into its blue heart. It has a heart. It's just toilet paper. <laughs> Stick into the back of Leave the plastic Leave it there, keyboard. it's cool. You can take it off if you want. If you want it to be kitchen tissue, it can be kitchen tissue. Mm. It's not, though. It's, it's mm. toilet paper. <laughs> it's toilet paper. Leave it there, it's cool. <laughs> That's gross. Take it off. Uh, nah, take it off. Still wet. The toilet paper. Oh, I God. Mean, kitchen tissue. Sorry. Peels off the plastic easily. All you have to do is shake it off your finger and voila. The ledger now looks marginally better. Ooh, I don't think I should smell it. The acidic stench of rotting food has rubbed off on the cellulose. Oh, I smelled it. It now forms the base of the experience. This base surrounded by a faint air of spoiled meat, the stuff of death itself, and then sprinkled liberally with the citrus zest of toilet cleaner. Oh, I kind of wish we just left the clipboard in there. Anyway, for now, like it if you liked it, subscribe if you want, share it if you can, and do what you want. Check out the Patreon support channel, and I'll see you next time. Have fun. The toilet paper stuck to my hand. Ugh.